welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have to have you with me today because we are trying something new. Well, at least it's new for me. I never tried this before, although I had always been curious about it. It's called a Scotch Eggs. And it's a simple recipe to make, but one of the reasons why I had never made it before is because I found the um, chicken eggs to be a little too big. Uh, so I, it occurred to me that I could do it with quail eggs. Not only because they're small and cute, but because I love quail eggs. So today we're going to do that experiment and see how it comes out. So all we need for this recipe today is quail egg, of course. Uh, we need breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, a regular egg, um, sausage meat, and flour, a little bit of flour. So, so stick with me and let's experiment together and see what we come out with. And um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the uh, sausages out of the plastic, or we're going to cut the plastic out of the sausages. And let me see this. this does it have a plastic in it? Yes. So you take that off. seems to be uh, already seasoned so if you get ones that don't have any seasoning you can just put some salt and pepper and some oregano or whatever uh, season you want to put in them you manipulate it a little bit until it sticks together um, and if by any chance the sausages that you are using are going to get too thick you might want to grind it again in a food processor uh, otherwise you can also use a little bit of cornbread in it to make it stick together which is what I have to do anyway so let's try to make this um, the scotch eggs. Okay, so you put up a, a, a bit of a meat in your hand and you flatten it as much as you can. Then you put the egg in the middle and you try to cover it until you make a ball. Then through egg. Then through the corn, uh, the um, breadcrumbs. And there you go. You see, that looks the size of a regular egg. But if I had used a regular egg, I, it would have been huge, the ball. And that's what I didn't like about it. So I guess it would work with this um, quail eggs. And since I love quail eggs, I don't mind at all. I 
aquí ya vamos a freír nuestros scotch eggs. I set it up to 190 degrees because I want them to cook inside before they get too um, golden outside. But I'm experimenting because I've never done this before. So they seem to get um, golden pretty quickly outside. So you need to adjust the temperature according to um, you know, what you think. And uh, here, here they are, the uh, scotch eggs. And I'm gonna taste them now to see how they taste. Mm. Really, really good. I didn't even have to put any season in the sausages. They all came seasoned. I didn't have to add anything. So, but they taste delicious. So I hope you made this recipe and let me know how you did in the rest. Uh, the recipe is gonna be in the description. So let me know. This is an experiment, but it came out pretty good. So I hope yours uh, comes out good also. Don't forget to subscribe and um, give me a like if you like this video, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. Time for the tip of the day. Today I have a good tip for you. At least it is for me because it's about mushrooms and I love mushrooms. Whenever I go to the supermarket and get fresh mushrooms, I'm worried about no using them in the first day or two because after that, they tend to get mushy. But I found a way to extend the longevity of the fresh mushroom by doing this trick. All you have to do is put them in a paper bag without washing them. And you try to get the air out and then you fold it back, clip it and put it in one of the shells in your refrigerator. You'll be surprised how long this mushroom could last. It's still looking very fresh. So if you like mushrooms, I hope you like this step and this is your tip of the day.